Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats, where we're doing some applique of things that go. So there's already lots of things going somewhere. Um, so we've already done 13 of our 20 shapes that we're doing. Um, and so this is number 14. So if you're interested in more information on 2020 Tasty Treats, things that go, please look on the website, gourmetquilter.com. Other than that, we'll move right into doing um, number 14. So this is kind of like a trailer. Um, I guess it's something that might carry horses, it might just be some other covered trailer with a little window in the back, it might be where somebody lives, who knows, it's a little trailer. So I've already gone ahead and cut some of my shapes, or cut all my shapes out, um, with a fusible web on the back, so if you have, are receiving the pattern you'll have something like this so you can trace everything, um, and I've got my background that's already um, preset in the sense that we're just using particular size backgrounds. So I'm going to put this piece down first, this is piece number one, so this actually go, does go down first, sometimes piece number one doesn't actually go down first. Um, and then we've got these two wheels on the side, so it's just like a rear view of a trailer. And I'm just going to overlap the wheels ever so slightly, just because remember we've got a seam allowance coming in there. Um, and one on the other side. I think it's looking pretty good. And there's a window and there's a couple of handles. So I think one way and another it is looking pretty good. And we'll put the two handles on because that door obviously is a double door on the back. So I've actually already gone ahead, I've drawn a line down the middle. So on the pattern there is a line there that indicates the two doors. So I've already just drawn that with a pencil. I'll, I'll be stitching it when I'm doing the stitching. My door handles are crooked. So I think that's all looking pretty much as it should. So I ne just need to iron that all in place now so that I can then go and stitch it. Now I'm going to be free motion stitching so I'm going to put a stabiliser behind. I'm using a lightweight cotton batting as my stabiliser, which kind of is going to give me a quilted effect as well. So it could end up being used for quilt as you go or, or not. You don't have to use a batting, of course, as a stabiliser. There's lots of other stabilisers available, but this seemed like a good idea at the time. So I'm going to go ahead now to the machine. I'm going to be free motion stitching. I've got my machine set with the free motion foot. I've got the feed teeth down, otherwise just a regular needle and thread. And I'm just going to start, where will I start? I might start between the wheels here and come across and around. And I'm just going to start here and come along now. I'm just going to go past the doorway there just to touch the door line. But I'm actually going to stitch that now. So I'm going to go all the way up and then I'm going to come all the way back down again. And because when I get to the top there's a window, I'm going to go onto that and do that now as well. So I'm back there again, so I'm ready to go back down again, but I'm kind of thinking I might do the handles now as well. So I'll just come back here and we'll just do a line out and do that. I, I don't like stopping and starting if I don't have to, and I don't think I have to. But I want to come back down that centre line, the door divider line. And then I, I'm going to be able to do this whole thing in one which is something I quite like to do. So I'll come along here now and go around one of the wheels and then I'll finish off. So now I just want to get back up to the top there. So I'm just going to come back up that little bit on the wheel there and then go back on to the side. 
of my trailer and the rest really is just straightforward so I will see you when I get to the other end. So I've gone ahead, I've finished stitching it around um, and I think it's looking pretty good as trailers go. I quite like trailers. So I'm just going to give it a quick press because that's what I like to do and we can pop this um, things that go number 14 up here. So it's the beginning of the next row so hopefully you can still see these down here. We're doing pretty well, I think, with that little trailer. So that was it for this time. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again with things that go applique number 15.